Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Capital Area School Development Association Virtual College Fair. We thank you for joining us today. Just a few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are turned off so the panelists cannot see or hear you. This is just one of many different sessions happening today, so please be sure to sign up for additional sessions that will be happening after this. This presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week at strivescan.com slash C-A-S-D-A-N-Y. And now I'd like to turn it over to our first presenter, Marymount Manhattan College. Hello. Hi there. My name is John Versace and I am an admissions counselor here at Marymount Manhattan College. Um, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, so real quick, let me just share my slides. All right. So I work here at Marymount Manhattan College. If you're not too familiar with us here, here are some fast facts about us. We are a small liberal arts institution in the Upper East Side of New York City. We are about 1900 undergraduate students. So one of the benefits I think for us being um, we're located in Manhattan and we're one of the few schools that are kind of small as well. So if you really enjoy that small classroom environment, you get that individualized attention, but you have all of the um, resources and opportunities that being in a school in New York City ha has to offer. Our average class size is about 15 students. And so you really kind of get that um, small classroom. So you really have a wide variety of opportunities to really get to know the professor. They're gonna to wanna to get to know you, advocate for you, um, even help you with it potentially with internship, research opportunities, really kind of having that close knit community throughout your four years here. Um, overall, academically, we have about 31 different majors and about 45 different minors. Um, our five main areas of study are in business, um, social sciences, um, communication media arts, natural sciences, and the fine and performing arts. One of the things that's really great for us here is that being a small uh, smaller institution is not only do our students have a really close-knit relationship with each other, so do our faculty. So if you have a wide variety of academic interests, maybe you want to double major in finance and communication or biology and dance, um, we could probably make that work for you. We have a lot of our, uh, it's really rare for a Marymount student to graduate here. Um, with just a major, students are always figuring out the best way to pick up maybe a double major, or pick up a minor or two. Um, and we're more than happy to help our students throughout that process. So we definitely really do go to our, through our resources and making sure that whatever your interests are, we're more than happy to help. Um, and ways that kind of makes Marymount Manhattan unique is in regards to really being in the city and how we take advantage of that. Um, we have our City Edge program which is really kind of that helps uh, take advantage of all the things in New York City. One of those examples is the New York City Seminar, which is kind of like that transition to college course. But for us, it's really kind of like a transition to New York City course, where um, it could be kind of a general education class and then take some field trips around New York City. As an example, we have a eating around New York City course, which is actually counting as a history credit, where you get to learn about the immigration history in New York City. And for that, you actually get to go and travel to different restaurants around New York City and hear from those owners' experiences uh, immigrating to the United States. Um, you also get free food. That's always a nice little perk of that one. But it also helps our students that maybe not, may not be familiar with like the transit system and getting a little bit more acclimated to that. We also do really encourage students to do internship opportunities. You can do up to five internships here that count for credit. And we always, if you're, it's an unpaid internship, we'll always try and provide, see if we can provide a stipend opportunity for you to, as well. Um, and then outside of that, we being in New York, really any company that you would like to work for, anything that you can think of, whether it be in the entertainment industry, business, um, and the health field, we really do have everything at, the thing, at your fingertips in a commutable distance. So you can get a wide variety of internships. Maybe you're having, you have a career opportunity that you don't necessarily know if you're interested in. You get an internship for them for a semester, get a feeling for it, and then you could be able to make that decision. Um, so really all the connections we have, and we're always bringing back alumni and um, guest speakers coming to campus, just so our students are well informed, but also helping them make those connections that once they graduate, they're able to go into a career, their career of choice and be successful. When it comes to our application process, we have three deadlines. Our early decision one is November 1st. Our early action is um, December 1st, and then our rolling, regular decision is on a rolling basis. So there is no set um, deadline with it. Typically, once you receive all the uh, requirements to your application, typically it takes about two weeks, and then we'll let you know if you are academically admitted or not. 
It's gonna give you an idea of what a typical student at Marymount um, academically looks like. Our average first year student GPA is about a 3.6. Our average SAT score is an 1100 and our average ACT score is a 24. In regards to what um, things I'll be looking at as an admissions counselor or as your, in your application, we, looking, we are a Common App school. So when applying to us, just know that we're part of the Common App um, too. We also have our own application on our website. You can choose if you'd like to. We then have, we were looking at your high school transcript. So looking over your grades, looking over the rigor of your curriculum, primarily of your first year to your junior year, but sometimes looking at your senior year grades as well. We are a test optional school. So if you are able to take the SAT or ACT and did great, perfect. If you were unable to take them, that's perfectly fine. You don't have to submit your test scores to us. You require at least one recommendation letter. And then lastly, the essay is really your opportunity to show us who you are in your own writing. So please, um, really take some pride in the essay and really have some fun with it. And that's really our opportunity as admission counselors to get to know who you are in your own words. In regards to cost, tuition and fees here at Marymount are about $37,410. And then room and board is just under $19,000. So for a total cost of about 56,304. We do provide financial aid to all of our students. So that um, we do encourage all families to fill out the FAFSA, which is the free application for federal student aid. You may get money from the federal government, but it allows us here at Marymount to look into your financial situation and see if there's any additional aid that we can offer on our end as well. We also offer any uh, merit-based scholarships automatically with your application. You, um, you can qualify anywhere from $4,000 to $18,000 per year, just for based on merit-based scholarships. And then lastly, we have talent-based scholarships, which range anywhere from $1,000 to $10,000, and that's based off your specific program. Uh, and then that's basically my time. Uh, feel free to contact us after today, and I'll be putting my chat information, uh, my contact information, um, in the chat after uh, later on during the session. Thank you, John. Next up, we are going to go to Purchase College. There we go. Hello, everyone. Uh, thanks so much for coming. Uh, my name is Jordan. I am one of the admissions counselors here at Purchase College. I'm just going to pop up my screen here. There we go. Okay, um, so welcome to uh, Purchase. Uh, Purchase is a small liberal arts uh, college, um, a little bit north of New York City in Westchester County, uh, New York. Um, and uh, we have a reputation as an arts program, which is well won to the, due to the variety of different BFA conservatory style arts programs that are on our campus. Uh, but also we have a very stellar liberal arts and sciences um, side to our academics as well. Um, for our, our just kind of fast facts, um, in general, we have about 4,000 students on our campus. Um, we are part of the SUNY system, that is the State University of New York system, um, which is the public college uh, consortium here in uh, New York State. And so the vast majority of our students do come from New York State, though we do draw some from outside of the state and outside of the country as well. Um, in general, our average high school GPA is about an 88, and um, a good chunk of our incoming students are first year, are our first generation college students as well. Um, and in terms of our size, it's really important to us that you are taking part in your academic experience um, as uh, individualized in, in a way as you can. And so our faculty to student ratio is roughly 12 to one. Uh, so that means for every 12 students on campus, there's one faculty member and our um, average class size does hit around uh, 15 to 20, depending on the particular program you are enrolled in. Um, I am going to kind of take you through our website as I go through this so that you can find all of this, so that you know that you can find all of this information, um, even after the presentation is done, you can take this home with you. Um, I did also want to chat about um, a, a pretty integral portion of our campus life, which is our Think Wide Open motto. Um, I think Wide Open for us is a little bit more of a mantra. It's a little bit more of a kind of community standard in that it is um, extremely important in how we, uh, it, indicates our values, but also what uh, it guides our decision making going forward. So I think Wide Open for us really uh, indicates our um, commitment to uh, individuality, diversity, creativity. Uh, it demonstrates our commitment to our LGBTQ student population, as well as our underrepresented and diverse um, uh, populations as well. We really want to create a space. I, I like to say that uh, at Purchase, you'll learn as much from the students sitting next to you in class as you will from the professor teaching it. That's really important to us um, going from a uh, academic and just community building standpoint. It's actually also built into our application process, which we'll touch on in just a moment. 
Um, in terms of our academics, again, I did mention that we have a, a good variety of uh, conservatory style BFA programs in the theater arts and music and film and um, uh, visual arts. And I believe that's all of them. I might be missing one. Uh, but also we have a fantastic selection of liberal arts and sciences in our schools of natural and social sciences, our school of film and media studies, and our school of humanities. So um, at Purchase, you're going to find a really great spot where you can combine a lot of different elements of your education, really take the reins on your academic um, one thing that is common amongst all of our academics, as you can see, there are a handful um, of selections right here that you can find more out about on our website, um, is our senior project element. Um, and our senior project is something that is consistent across all of our courses of study, where you, um, at your senior year, will get paired with a faculty member to, um, as, an, as an advisor, as a kind of mentor in that element, to create a graduate level style um, portfolio project that is really you are the creative engine behind. Um, the idea is that you are going to be um, engaging with uh, creating a uh, project that will culminate the knowledge that you've um, learned throughout your career here at Purchase College um, and really have something to take with you once you graduate. A great springboard into graduate school, into your career, wherever life might find you after school. We really want to make sure that all of our students have uh, the best uh, that they can in terms of uh, a leg up into uh, whatever the next step in your life may be. I did just want to take a moment to show you our uh, physical campus. Uh, this is an interactive map, again, located on our website. Um, as you can see, our pretty big campus, actually, uh, in terms of physical space. Uh, we're about 500 acres of what used to be an old dairy farm. I promise the cow smell has gone by now. Um, but we're also very nice and tucked away. We do live within uh, Westchester County, New York, which is a little bit more densely populated in terms of the suburbs. But uh, we do have our own little kind of slice of heaven. It's very arboreal, very green. Um, I have almost hit a deer on my way home from work a couple of times. So that has happened as well. And it's also extremely walkable. So. Um, as you are uh, kind of wandering around our campus, uh, it's very um, engaging and we are primarily residential campus as well with a variety of different residence options, including your, you know, your classic uh, dorm, um, you know, hallway dorm rooms, as well as the uh, suite style and apartment style for our students that are um, a little bit further along in their programs. Um, and uh, I did just want to say that for uh, our application process, um, the School of Arts, if you're interested in any of our conservatory or our uh, conservatory of the arts um, BFA style programs, that we do have a uh, talent review portion built into those applications. And it's really important that you keep an eye on those deadlines as they do happen significantly earlier, whereas the rest of our programs are rolling admission throughout the entire application process. Um, you can find all of that information in the red section of our website for the apply portion. And um, in general, uh, we've got uh, 88 GPA and we have been test optional for the last four, five years. Uh, so I will be also posting my contact information in the bottom and or in the chat. And I believe that's my time. Thanks so much. Thank you, Jordan. Next up, we are going to hear from Five Towns College. Hi, everyone. My name is Drew. I'm the Assistant Director of Admissions here at Five Towns College. And um, I'm here to speak with you about our specific programs um, here on Suffolk County, Long Island, and Dix Hills, if you're familiar. So we're a very small school, about 700 students total, and that includes a master's and doctorate program for music. Our average class size is 13, right now even a little smaller because of social distancing uh, guidelines on campus. We've been taking that very seriously, and it's allowed us to stay fairly safe. We have a lot of hands-on class, uh, classes as well as a creative community. Most of our programs are specifically the arts, and if not, they're related to the arts. We have beautiful residence halls. About of our third, third of our students live on campus, uh, close to two-thirds commute, and we have very focused degree programs. So when I say focused degree programs, what do I mean? So we have uh, the Bachelor's of Business Administration and Business Management, the MUSB or the Bachelor's of Music and Music Performance, as well as the Bachelor's of Music and Music Education. We also have a BFA in Interactive Computer Graphics, Film Video, Theater Arts. We do have the Bachelor of Science in Math Communication. Uh, and we also have associate's degrees for Business, uh, Interactive Computer Graphics, and just a general liberal arts credit. We do have uh, some specific concentrations for many of the majors. Two of our most popular 
our audio recording technology, which is available for business programs, the liberal arts program, both music and mass communication. We also have music and entertainment industry studies. So what, actually one of our biggest populations on campus is business students taking audio. So even though they're coming for a business degree, they're doing the audio program. And as I mentioned, we have the master's and doctorate of musical arts in jazz commercial music with various concentrations there. So what is the difference between a BBA, a BFA, a BA? Um, so there's two types of bachelor's degrees. There's the liberal arts degrees, which is the BA and the BS. And then there's the professional degrees. We offer the BFA, the bachelor's of music, and the bachelor's of business administration. A BA is going to be about 25% of your courses in your major and 75% liberal arts. A BS, which the only one of those we have is mass communication, is about 50-50 between your liberal arts and sciences and your in degree programs. And our professional degrees offer 75% in major uh, and concentration classes and only 25% liberal arts, which we feel is a benefit for our students and our students uh, really are gravitating towards that. So regarding the admissions process, we are rolling admissions. Our average high school GPA is an 85, um, but we have a very holistic review process. So, you know, same things that are gonna make maybe a, a nursing program student at a different school successful are not what's going to make a student successful at Five Towns College. So we review as much as possible um, of the little things. Every part uh, is, is truly read over. Um, we do require the high school transcript, obviously, and college transcript if you've taken college courses or if you're a transfer. If you are a transfer, we do also require the high school transcript. We require at least one letter of recommendation. We prefer it from an academic source. Not your, I'm sure your mother could write a great letter of recommendation. That's not what we want to read. We want to read about your academic performance. We ask for a personal statement, 200 to 300 words. You can use what you've used for other schools or the common app type prompt. You can also um, write two to 300 words about why the program you want to go into, why Five Towns College, why now, those types of things. We also have um, audition and portfolio requirements. Auditions are required for music, music education and theater, and portfolio are required for interactive computer graphics and film or theater if you're doing a specific concentration in technical theater. We occasionally have interviews. Um, as I mentioned, we do a very holistic um, process, the admissions review. So sometimes we need a little more information. And when we do, we will call a student in for an interview. We are entirely SAT, ACT optional. If you want to send them in, you can, but they're not at all required. If you, if you send them in and they don't help, we don't count them against you. We do automatic review for all of our accepted students for merit scholarships, but we also have the HEOP program, which offers uh, educational and financial support to attend um, if you meet certain requirements. We have need-based grants and programs, including um, some entire tuition covering grants for students who have high need. Uh, we have early action incentive grants. So we are rolling admissions, but if you apply, apply early, you're eligible for extra grants. Our total cost is about $25,000 a year for tuition and for those students living on campus and the $14,000 for housing. But the average cost after aid is really significantly lower. It's about $17,000 per year. As far as student life, um, we do have modern on-campus housing. It's great. We have uh, heat and air control in your rooms. There's also only single and double style rooms that have in on-campus bathrooms. So you don't have to share your bathroom uh, down the hall with 13 people. You and your roommate or just you are, are using that bathroom. We have lots of different clubs and organizations. We also have athletics. Um, we have, uh, we're part of the USCAA and the Hudson Valley Intercollegiate Athletic, Athletic Association for men's and women's soccer, volleyball, and basketball. Cross country is coming up this fall and we just started participating in esports and number of sports with more to come. We have student access for students who have learning differences or physical disabilities that may need a little extra help. The HEOP program, as I mentioned, and a career service opportunities to really launch you into a successful time after Five Towns, as well as some internship opportunities as well. Thanks so much. If you have any questions, I look forward to talking to you soon. Thanks, Drew. Next up, we are going to hear from Hartwick College. How's it going, everybody? My name is Marcus Hudson. I'm an Associate Director of Admissions and Event Coordinator here at Hartwick College. Um, also, if your parents are working at any of the schools, um, colleges, or universities in the United States, and you're interested in tuition exchange, I'd be your contact for that as well. Hartwick is a smaller liberal arts college here in Oneonta, New York. 
It's about three and a half hours north of New York City, about an hour from Binghamton and an hour from Albany. I have a couple of videos that are going to pretty much sum up what Hartwick is all about. The first one is really about, you know, who we are as Hartwick College. And then the next one is sort of about our view of education. So I'm going to share my screen here. starts on this hill. This is where belonging means being. Exactly who you are and who you'll become. It's where belonging means believing. You'll find the courage to surprise others, especially yourself. This is where you'll find your passion and purpose. You're just what the world needs. sharing there so yeah that's you know hartwick is a firm believer in you know finding a spot this is Oop, let me share it's this a screen designed just for you at hartwick college your education includes everything it's where friends become family clubs become communities games this Hello, is your life hat. my name is neva and Oop. i'm currently standing in breezy hall it's a new oh, boy. Technical challenge here, guys. Sorry about that. Making Harvard College one of the oldest college in the country. Why is Brizzy Hall important to me? Brizzy Hall is important oh, to me because boy. I am a tool. All right. We got some time. There we go. It's where friends become family, clubs become communities, games are filled with true blue spirit. Campus becomes a second home, and college creates lifelong memories. It's your journey that we'll take together, where every milestone builds towards your success. Let's begin. We'll start by learning more about you, because this is an experience made for you. You'll discover your natural strengths and what energizes you, so that you can explore majors, make connections, and tap into what's happening on campus. As a hawk, you'll benefit from a personal guidance team that works with you to manage it all, including a success coach, a career coach, a faculty advisor, and an alumni mentor who will help you every step of the way. You'll take a seminar that'll help you set goals and understand your flight path. Next, you'll gain critical 21st century skills, four weeks at a time. Finally, you'll get to know your classmates even better by collaborating in special group projects both on and off campus. You'll learn what it takes to grow in your career and how to network during a two-day professional conference. You'll make meaningful connections right here, right now, with alumni that work all over the country, finding mentors, landing internships, and taking full advantage of the Hawk Alumni Network. Every opportunity expands on what you've learned about yourself and your options. You'll have work experiences from clinicals and student teaching to research, always finding new ways to set yourself up for what's next. All throughout your time at Hartwick, you'll find yourself at home, in the heart of long-standing tradition, lasting friendships, and everything college is meant to be. You'll become more confident in yourself, more equipped for an ever-changing world, and you'll capture it all in a digital resume so that you can show the world exactly what you're made of. Every step of your flight path builds towards your success. Your first year defines your path and builds a strong foundation. Your second year helps you become more professional and career ready. Your third year gives you real-world work experience. 
And in your final year, you'll reflect on what you've learned throughout all of your experiences and what that means for your future in a distinctive senior capstone. When you graduate, you'll be ready. And together, with every pop beside you and the network of pops around the world, you'll be ready to soar. All right, so Hartwick is committed to that sort of hands-on personalized experience. When you come to Hartwick, you're going to study what you want. You're going to get the resources and the support that you're going to need to launch yourself into that career or maybe to that, you know, graduate program, doctorate program, whatever the case may be. And with a faculty student ratio of about a student to faculty ratio of about 11 to 1, you're going to get that hands-on personal experience from them. So thanks for your time. Um, I'll throw my uh, information in the group chat, what in the heck? And, <laughs> and then uh, we'll see you later. Thank you. Thank you, Marcus. Next up, we are gonna go to Monroe College. Good evening, students. My name is Selena Drinks, and I am a Monroe College alumni and admissions advisor. I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about Monroe College and what we have to offer. Here at Monroe, we believe that you matter, your history, your family, your challenges, and your goals. Diversity matters. We are multicultural, multi-ethnic, and multi-generational. Support matters. We provide small classrooms and mentors for our freshmen and transfer students. Flexibility matters. We give you options to move forward, whether those are morning classes, evening classes, part-time or full-time. Honesty matters. We keep you focused on your goals so that you can meet them. We have two main campuses. One is our Bronx campus, which is mainly our commuter campus. We have our New Rochelle campus, which is located in Westchester, New York, which has our dorms. So that is catered to our out-of-state students as well as some commuter students. Our St. Lucia campus is mainly for students that live in St. Lucia. And we have our online setting. Our classroom sizes are on average 20 students, which I personally love because you get the one-on-one -on -one support that you need from your professors. They will know your name. They do put the time in and the effort to make sure that you completely understand what they are trying to tell you. Here at Monroe College, we offer three semesters a year, which allows students to finish their degree faster. If you are going for your bachelor's degree and you take part in our three year pro in our three semester program, you will finish your bachelor's in three years. As mentioned earlier, our freshmen and transfer students do get an FYE advisor, which is first year experience. They cater to your needs. They are your support system as well as a mentor and I myself am a mentor. So most of the time a mentor is someone who has graduated from the college and can give you that extra support system um, that you may need that follows up with your attendance. Um, if you have any situations at home that you need to discuss, it's kind of that extra person, that extra friend in your corner. If you need extra assistance in your classes, we have an academic center, which is open to all of our students. It has our tutors, our peer advisors, as well as some deans and academic advisors that can help you with any essays, writing tips, extra help for math classes, and etc. Here's a list of our degree programs. We have our School of Allied Health Professions, our Diagnostic Medical Stenography Program, our Health Service Administration, Medical Administration, Medical Assisting, and Public Health. Our School of Business and Accounting, we have Accounting, Business Administration, Business Management, General Business, and Sports Management. Our School of Criminal Justice, we have Criminal Justice and Human Services. Our School of Education, 
we have early childhood education. Our School of Hospitality Management and Culinary Arts, we have Culinary Arts, Hospitality Management, and Baking and Pastry. Our School of Information Technology, we have Computer Information Science, Computer, informa computer Networks and Cybersecurity. Our School of Nursing, we have a Bachelor's in Nursing as well as a second degree option for RN or traditional high school path. Our athletic program is a little bit different. On our Bronx campus, we have Division Three Athletics, and on our New Rochelle campus, we have Division One Athletics. For our men and women, we have soccer, basketball, track and field, baseball or softball, rugby, and marching band. The men also have football, and the women have volleyball. Monroe College is extremely affordable. Per semester, our full-time tuition is $7,488, and for a part-time student, it's $428. We do have grants and scholarships available, some for academics, which is our trustee scholarship, our culinary and hospitality scholarships, our ProStart, CCAP, and Skill. And of course, our Division I program offers athletic scholarships. If you like what you heard here today, please join our family and complete our admissions process. It is very simple. All you need to do is complete an application, a personal statement, a high school transcript, and have an admissions interview with someone like myself. There is an application fee, but that can be waived as long as you just let us know that you met with me today. Thank you for listening, and I hope you have a good rest of your day. Thank you. And last but not least, we are going to go to Pace University. Thank you so much. Let me just share my screen. Awesome. All right. Hello, everyone. My name is Alexa Dalvis. I'm one of the admissions counselors here at Pace University, and I always like to start these presentations off by talking about what really makes the Pace education experience unique, and that is the implementation of our Pace Path goal setting system, which is essentially going to serve as your blueprint to success during your time at Pace. Now our students begin working on their PACE path during their first semester on campus in their University 101 course, which is a course that's designed to essentially teach you how to be a college student. In this class, you work on setting four-year goals for yourselves within our three key categories, personal development, professional development, and academic development. And this ensures that when you walk across that graduation stage, you are a well-rounded, market-ready individual who has had all of the key college experiences they need to be successful successful in the future. I do like to emphasize though that the path is flexible so students are not locked into anything. It is designed to change along with you as you change throughout your four years on campus. Diving a little deeper into each of the sections of the path, beginning with academics, one of the greatest things about PACE is that you're always going to be a name. You will never be a number. Our average class size is only 20 students, and that gets smaller as you progress through your major. We have over 150 different majors and accelerated degree programs across our five undergraduate schools of study, beginning with our College of Health Professions, which houses our health sciences as well as our nursing program. Our Dyson College of Arts and Sciences is, is home to over 50 different programs in the liberal arts realm, such as biology, psychology, digital cinema, criminal justice, communications, and our School of Performing Arts programs. Our Lubin School of Business, we have a lot of your traditional business programs, such as accounting, marketing, and finance, but we also have some specialized programs as well, like hospitality and tourism management, arts and entertainment management, as well as sports marketing. School of Education, we have early childhood, childhood, as well as adolescent education and opportunities to pursue five-year programs to get a master's in teaching as well. And that our Seidenberg School of Computer Science and Information Systems houses all of our tech-based majors. Our Elizabeth Hobbs School of Law is the third of our three beautiful New York campuses. So any students interested in pursuing a law career, you will have the opportunity to do three plus three programs through our law school. 
We also have our Forzheimer's Honors College on campus. Lots of perks that come along with being an honors student, including exclusive courses, trips and events, early course registration, and a guaranteed minimum of a $15,000 scholarship. So really does pay off to keep those grades up in high school. In terms of career services, our Office of Career Services goes above and beyond to link our students up with all the different job and internship opportunities that are out there. They do everything from one-on-one -on -one career counseling to help with building resumes and cover letters, tips and tricks for online and interpersonal networking, mock interviews, etiquette workshops, multiple job fairs. They will teach you how to shake a hand. They will even let you borrow a blazer if you don't already own one. And these services are what we like to call pace for life. So even 10, 15 years down the line from now, you're able to utilize our alumni career counselors to their fullest extent to ensure that you are successful in every step of your career, even long after graduating from PACE. Now, in terms of our two undergraduate campuses, we have an urban and a suburban location. Our New York City location is in the heart of the financial district. You're steps away from Wall Street and the Brooklyn Bridge, really in the hustle and bustle of it all. But a unique feature of our campus is that it's condensed into a five block radius. So you'll never have to take the subway to get from class to your bed at night. Everything is within walking distance. About an hour north of our New York City campus is our Westchester campus, way more traditional in feel. You have the grass, the trees, Division II athletics, student quad, kind of like what you see in the movies. But regardless of which campus you choose to attend, you have access to full resources on both of our campuses. It is a two for one deal, and we do have an intercampus shuttle that's free for students to use. In regards to student life on campus, over 150 different clubs and organizations happening. So there's something going on for everyone. And if you do have an interest that isn't currently represented, you're able to work with student government and a group of your friends to start your own organization. Getting involved, it's a great way. You meet new people, you have new experiences. There are tons of different leadership development opportunities that you wouldn't necessarily find in an academic or an internship setting, but nevertheless look great on a resume. In terms of college costs, we are a private university, so I know the price tag can be a bit scary when you first look at it, but I assure you, we are doing everything in our power to make PACE affordable. 95% of our first year students receive financial assistance with your average student receiving under just under $26,000 per year. We also have our net price calculator and merit scholarship estimator tool. So if you were interested in getting a better idea of what you can pay for PACE, you can go online and plug in some factors and we'll be able to uh, give you a better idea of what you can anticipate paying. In terms of our application requirements, really standard for a college application, you can go online to the PACE website or apply through the common application. We do not preference. We look for your transcripts, letters of recommendation, and a personal statement. PACE is completely test optional. We went test optional before COVID, so uh, we have plans to stay test optional long into the future. So if you took tests and you think you have good scores that represent who you are as an academic, by all means, you can plan to submit them. But if not, no worries. You will not need to submit test scores to come to PACE. We also have a few different uh, types of deadlines available, early decision, early action, as well as regular decision. If you are interested in performing arts or nursing, we do have some program specific deadlines there. So just keep an eye out and make sure you look for uh, whenever you're in the midst of applying to college. And then last but not least, some contact information. I'll make sure to pop my info in the chat, but thank you all for listening to me today and I hope to connect with you all again soon. Thank you, Alexa. And now I am going to invite um, our five panelists. We did have one, unfortunately, leave early. So just the five that are left are going to answer a question for you guys before we head out. Um, and that question is, what is your favorite event or tradition on campus? So if you guys want to share in the order that you presented um, before we wrap up, that'd be great. Sure. So for us here at Mary Mimmon College, I would say our favorite, my favorite is um, Apple Fest, which is basically our big um, opening involvement fair on campus during our first week here back in the fall semester. It's a really cool event where we basically close down the main street that we're on in New York City. There's a bunch of food vendors, um, games and things like that, but all of our clubs and organizations are present so you can sign up for a bunch of different things to get involved on campus. Um, that's always one of my biggest pieces of advice is that no matter where you go, um, always try to get involved in something. It's probably one of the easiest ways you can make friends on a college campus in your first year. 
Um, okay, so uh, I actually have three. I'm sorry, I'll go really fast. Just this purchase uh, has so much going on all at once. Um, but in the fall, uh, my favorite is Ball Ball, which is a giant drag variety show where you go and enjoy and have fun that night and then you're coughing up litter the next morning. Um, in the winter, we have Zombie Prom, which is just like your high school prom, except everybody's undead and all in Halloween stuff and it's fantastic and then in the spring we have something called Perchella which is purchased does Coachella it's called Culture Shock it's a big music festival where we get food trucks and carnivals and a whole bunch of music uh, performances from students and from varying acts and everything so it's a lot of fun each year uh, we do a lot of really great stuff um, and yeah we're very vibrant vibrant campus a lot of stuff going on. So here at Five Towns College you know being primarily performing and entertainment, you know, we have so many great events, so it's hard to pick one. Um, so this is definitely a biased pick, but I love our luminaries presentation. So it sh it's our student uh, showcase for all of the student film work, and they do a great job. They do like a, an Oscars or, you know, presentation type show where they do little skits in between. It's really fun. Uh, and you get to see the great work to bring people on campus together, uh, you know, when we can do that. Um, so that's a really fantastic opportunity and it, it even worked well online this year. So it's exciting to see. I wouldn't have to say that I too have a couple of different ones. One would be Taste of Wick, which is an event at the start of our uh, fall semester where all of our clubs and organizations uh, table out on Frisbee Field and all the incoming students get a chance to sort of meet everybody and sort of see what's out there in terms of you know, maybe playing a club sport or just joining an organization on campus. So that's definitely a vibrant campus community event. And I um, always love attending just to see how excited students are to promote what clubs and organizations are a part of. And the other one would have to be Hawks Night Fever, which is essentially a pep rally. Um, so people just get wild and crazy. There's pizza, there's soda. And of course, there's games to play where you can win money, you can win prizes like TVs, mini fridges. And of course, all of the different years are competing in a way against each other. You have your own special T-shirt and you're trying to beat the seniors. That's pretty much the goal of the event. Um, so I'd say those two events are probably my, my favorite on campus. And my favorite event on Pace's campus is definitely Midnight Breakfast. Our library stay open 24 hours during final and midterms week. So as just a great way to boost morale, we have um, just a massive continental breakfast buffet spread, music, games, raffles for student prizes. And it's just a great little pick me up and to keep everyone um, motivated throughout as they finish through the semester. So that's definitely my favorite event on campus. It's a lot of fun. Thank you all so much for sharing. And thank you everyone for joining us tonight or this afternoon or morning, wherever you're coming from. When you close this window, there'll be a link to a very quick four question survey. We'd appreciate any feedback you can provide. Also, this was just one of multiple sessions being hosted in this fair. So please be sure to sign up for additional sessions after this. In about a week, you will be able to find this session's recording as well as all the other sessions recordings at strivescan.com slash C-A-S-D-A-N-Y. Thank you so much to our panelists and thank you for everyone attending and have a great rest of your day.